Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you this easy and compact Enderman XP farm tutorial that gives you 25 levels in 5 minutes. This farm is a bedrock Enderman XP farm, however it does work on Java as well. But I do recommend my Java Enderman XP farm as it's far more efficient. But without any further ado, let's get into the tutorial. These are the resources you are going to need. The first thing you want to do is come to the very edge of your end island and place a water bucket off the side. You'll then want to hop into your water stream and build all the way down to Y level 1 in your water stream. Now that you've placed all your cobblestone down to this level, you want to place a leaf block to the left of it just like this. You then want to place ladders all the way up to the top. You can now destroy your water source. Now go back all the way down to the bottom. Now that the water's gone, place a leaf block here and a leaf block here. From this block right here, we want to come 140 blocks in this direction right there. So this is one, and this is two, and so on. Now that our leaf platform is complete, we want to place a block right here, and then either side of that block, we want to come four blocks out, just like this. So that is nine that way, so now we need to come nine this way. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we just need to connect the dots and fill it all in. Now place a leaf block here and a leaf block here. Then place three black stone just like this. Now find the middle of the nine by nine platform and build a three by three area in the center. Now place a chest right here and then come behind it, destroy this block, and place a hopper leading into that chest. Now place a powered rail here, a normal rail all the way around just like this, and then another powered rail right there. Now place a temporary block here, another block here, and then remove that block, and then create a border around the 3x3 just like this. You can now place these blocks right here to fill in the gaps. Underneath the powered rails, we want to place a lever here and flick it on. Do the same to this side right here. Now place your hopper minecart and it will continue to cycle around just like this and will pick up your items. Now grab your slabs. Place a slab here, a slab there, remove that slab and then cover the 3x3 area just like this. Now place 3 blocks here and 3 blocks right here. Then jump up on top, place a block here and a block here. Now place two blocks here, a slab on top of that, remove those two blocks, and then cover the entire area of your platform to stop Endermen from spawning on the platform. Your farm should look something like this. Now place one, two, three blocks, and then a slab on top of that block, and then place one, two, three, a slab on top of that block, and now place a slab here, a slab here, and then slab all the way across this, just like this. You can now come up top and remove this slab here, this slab here, this slab here, and this slab here. Now, in these gaps right here, we just want to place a full block all the way along. We now want to bring up these corners 42 blocks high. So, that is two blocks already, so we need to go up another 40. So that'll bring us up to Y level 45. You now want to grab your slabs. Place a slab here and then wrap that all the way around the four corners. You now want to skip two and a half blocks all the way up and repeat the same process. So I'll do a few with you to start yours off. So there's half a block, one block and two blocks. So that's two and a half blocks right there. So now we place a slab here. And as you can see, that's two and a half blocks. 
So now we just wrap that around on all four sides. Then there's half a block, one and a half, two and a half, and then place a slab here, and then wrap it all the way around. Now repeat that same process all the way to the top. Now for the very top, we just want to connect the four points around each corner, making it flush with those four points. Now on each of these four points right here, we want to come out a total of 20 blocks on all four sides. So that is one and two. So we need to come out another 18 on all four sides. Now that we've got all four sides extended out to 20 blocks, we want to start to connect them up. We want to create a zigzag pattern all the way along until we connect up with the other side. Now that we've connected up our four points and have that zigzag pattern, we want to fill in all of this area right here. Now that we've filled out our entire platform, we want to build out two blocks just like this, remove this block, place up a further three blocks just like this. Now come on top of this block and build a perimeter around the block to make it a three by three platform just like this. Now you want to leave this center bit free, but build the rest two blocks up just like this. Leave it so it's like this, extend it one more block and then build that two more blocks up. Now place two rails just like this, and now you want to grab your ender pearls and start throwing them in here until an endermite spawns. Make sure you use ender pearls and not a creative egg or a command to spawn the endermite in, otherwise it will not work. It has to be ender pearls. So let's get throwing. As you can see right here, we got an endermite. Before you put him in a minecart, you want to name tag him so he doesn't despawn. We're going to name him Steve. Now you want to place a minecart down and he will jump inside the minecart just like this. Most of yous, if not all of yous, will be building this in survival, so I suggest wearing armour as this little bloke right here packs quite a punch. So now we want to push him over into the middle of the 3x3. Just like this. Now we want to remove every single block around him except for the one that he's sitting on. Once you've removed all of the blocks around the endermite, you want to make sure to delete this rail right here. And the last step is to place trapdoors all the way along just like this so the endermite thinks he can pathfind to the endermite and then he will fall down the hole and we will kill them all the way down there. To improve this farm as much as possible, you want to light up your entire end island for more rates. Obviously you can place way less torches than what I'm placing here, and you can place them in a grid-like pattern to prevent endermans from spawning, however, I'm just proving a point. This farm right here is far more efficient on Java, however due to bedrock mechanics, this is probably the most efficient enderman farm there is. So let's kill enderman for 5 minutes and see how many levels we get. So after 5 minutes of killing Endermen continuously, we got a total of 26 levels. This farm is really easy and compact for the amount of resources you need to build it. I really hope you choose to use this design as it won't let you down. Your Bedrock Enderman XP farm is now complete and ready to go. Enjoy the 25 levels every 5 minutes. Here are some other videos you can enjoy. Bye!